All right. Today we're going to take a look at the MPX from Sig Sawyer, 177 caliber uh, semi-automatic pellet pistol. Or due to the solid stock, you could call it an SBR, short barreled rifle, but it's a pistol. Designed after the Sig Sawyer MPX uh, 9mm based on the AR platform. One of my favorite platforms. It's got the pop up sights. It's got a removable 30 round belt fed magazine. Just pull the belt out. It'll have the plastic side and it'll have the metal link. You want the metal links facing downward. Have your pellets run all over the place. Come back here, guys. All right. Just kind of pop them in there, push them below the ridge. Sure, we get them all. Now, technically, you could fire it from this way, but there's a possibility of jams. So, what you want to do when you purchase the MPX, it comes with this little tool here for adjusting the sights and for sinking the pellets. You just take the little nub in here, kind of go along, just pop. Make sure they're all sunk. All right. Then you want to put the belt back into the magazine. You'll have the metal side to the front. Of course, there's a little cutout here for these nubbins, so you can't really get that one wrong. Slip it back in there. Ready to roll. Okay, and you remove the stock. And this is where you would put an 88 gram CO2. Well, I didn't get an 88 gram CO2. I got an Air, whoa, an Air Venturi bulk fill adapter that goes from the treads of an 88 gram CO2 into a bulk fill for a high pressure air bottle or whatever. So you just kind of screw that in there. Make sure it's snug. You can use an Allen wrench or anything. Just kind of snug that up a hair. And then I got this, and I should have got a different one, but this is a 3,000 PSI, uh, 48 cubic inch high pressure air cylinder. I've got to pump up to about 
2800 PSI right now. I did that with this uh, inexpensive PCP pump here. Now this one's rated to go to 4500 PSI and it's pretty simple to use. It's got a quick disconnect so you just kind of kind of pop it on the bottle like this and you're set to go flaps down and you just pump away once it gets up to the pressure where the bottles at it'll start getting a little more difficult oh there we go well you get the idea then when you're done you want to open this release valve let the air out of the pump just pull that back to release Plug that back up and you're good to go. Yeah. All right. So much for that point. Okay. Now there's supposed to be a remote, which would be an air cord that would go from the gun to the bottle. And you'd carry the bottle in a pack. Well, that hasn't come in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just put the bottle directly onto the gun. Make sure you get those lined up right. You don't want to strip the threads. Stay here, guy. that in there it should be set to go and it's a little bit heavy it makes a nice cheek wrist all right then what you want to do it's just like a regular AR. Safety to fire. And then shoot. Now like I say, unfortunately this bottle only has like 800 to maybe 850 PSI output. So it's not going to hit real hard. You can take a lot of shots. Great for, great for punching paper. But that's where this little guy comes in. This is a replacement valve. And hopefully I'm supposed to be getting a smaller bottle. I'll put this one on there. And this one's going to put out... 1800 PSI which is more than double what this one puts out and a standard 12 gram CO2 in your regular BB guns puts out roughly 900 PSI so it'll be twice the power of that but that'll that'll wait and go on a different on a different bottle all right well, let's go do some target shooting and see how this does. We're out here with the Sig Sawyer MPX 177 caliber pellet pistol. And we're going to do a little shooting. I got my 
41 cubic inch 3000 psi air bottle so let's pop in this 30 round belt fed magazine okay let's see what it does first we'll try grouping Let's see how those did. Ah, going a little bit low. one click mm. see how that does there. Looks like pretty much the same spot. So I'll go another click. Actually, maybe I should go to. All right, let's try that one. Ugh. All right, that's a little closer. These clicks must be minute. So I'll just go two more. Okay. Now, we'll try it on this uh, Caldwell resetting target. See if this thing will make these boogers flip. See if I can hit them. enough power to flip them all right if I can hit the ding things uh, I don't know I don't know why I'm missing and see all the little holes right beside <laughs> All right, 
all reloaded and ready to take another crack at it. All right. Almost. Yeah. Hey, I got one. <laughs> Got a release. Yep, oh, empty again. Now the extra magazines for this MPX are about 26 bucks. But they come with three belts. I'd say it's probably a good idea to get some. I know I'm going. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed this display of bad marksmanship and uh, enjoy. Again. Now the extra magazines for this MPX 